Hello everyone, this week's parasha is Parashat Balak. I'd like to talk about Koach the power of speech. The whole parasha seems to be discussing it in one way or another. So a bit of a setup for the parasha is Balak is a king, and he sees that the Jews are beating every nation that is that they're facing, and he decides he needs some divine intervention, and he goes and he he goes to Bilam, the prophet of the nations, and says, "Please curse him, curse the Jewish people in God's name, so that we'll be able to beat them." Bilam tries, but throughout the whole parsha, there's a lot of intervention from God, a lot of intervening from God, making sure that Bilam is not able to curse them. So first of all. Who cares? Some guy comes and wants to curse us. Someone wants to curse you. Who cares? Someone says something hurtful. Who cares? Get over it. Does there, is there any meaning to, to their words? So clearly from the Parsha, the answer is yes. This Parsha is very, very unique because, first of all, we are virtually not the, main, the, the subject. We are extremely passive in this whole Parsha. We don't know that this is even happening. This is whole behind the scenes happening to us. And God is saving us without us even knowing. It's an amazing thing. We only find out about this in a few parshas from now, in one way or another. And there's so much intervening from God's point of view that we have to ask, how powerful are words? So first of all, God literally changes his words. He doesn't let Bilam curse. Bilam comes to curse and it becomes blessings. He's not able to curse. And second of all, God opens up the donkey's mouth and has the donkey talk. This is one of those things that Chazal tell us in the Gemara. They say God creates this in the few minutes before he created Shabbat. So in the six days of creation, God finishes creating the world. And then, in the last few minutes, he creates a few miraculous things. So it doesn't matter if Shabbos comes in at 4 or at 8 o'clock, you always know that in those last few minutes before Shabbat, you are working extremely hard to finish, to, to finish setting everything up. So God's creating all these really important things in the last few minutes before Shabbat. And one of them is he creates the donkey's mouth that will eventually be Bilam's donkey and will talk to him and educate him and give him musar. Very, very important. But why is it so important? What, what are these words that we're so worried about? So words have power, real power. They can bless and they can curse. And the Parsha comes to remind us that constantly. There's a story about... A rabbi who asks his, his uh, servant, his student, he says, go and bring me some, the best thing in the world. And he brings him a tongue. He says, and go bring me the worst thing. And he brings him a tongue. And he says, you just brought me the same thing. Explain. And he says, the best thing is a tongue and the worst thing is a tongue because hachaim vehamavet biyad alashon, life and death are in the hands of the tongue. If you use your words properly, you do amazing, amazing things. And if you use them wrong, you destroy lives. We need to be extremely careful how we speak about others, that we never lie about others, that we don't do damage. We don't give false testimony. We have discussed this in other parshas, for example, in Parashat Metzorah. We've discussed this about when we speak ill of others, the punishment is tsarat, it's leprosy. It's you need to be kicked out of the community because you are dividing people by talking about others. Shabbat is Yudzayin B'Tamuz. Yudzayin B'Tamuz, we'll only actually mark it on Sunday, it marks the beginning of the three weeks. The three weeks, we point out the days of, the, uh, as days of mourning for the destruction of the temple. The first temple was destroyed for three sins, murder, adultery, and idol worshiping. And the second temple was just destroyed just because of hate. And that shows you how powerful your words are, how powerful hate is. 
We need to be very, very, very careful, especially in these days. These days that everything is virtual and it's so easy to write things anonymously and destroy people's lives. We need to be very, very careful how we use our words. Shabbat Shalom.